Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today I'm going to teach you how to name ionic compounds. This is super simple. Ready? First, is it ionic? Is there a non-metal and a metal bonding together? If it is, you're good to go. Let's name it with this method. All you have to do is you're going to write the names of the elements. You're going to write the metal first and the non-metal second. So if we have MgO, we're going to write magnesium and then oxygen, right? So just write them in the same order that the formula is given to you. Now you're going to do step two. You're going to change the ending of the second element to ide or ide at the end. So instead of it saying oxygen, we're going to remove that ending and we're going to put ide. So it's going to be said oxide instead. So our final answer is magnesium oxide. Okay. That is telling us, Hey, this is an ionic compound that we've now created. They're no longer separate, separate elements. Now it's a compound and it's an ionic bond. Let's try one more. So we have Al2O3. How do we name it? Well, we're going to write our elements in order. So aluminum and then oxygen, but we don't finish there. We're going to now change the ending on the second element to that IDE. So instead of oxygen, we're going to write oxide. So it's now aluminum oxide. And that's it, you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. See you next time.